If there is one thing Avatar is known for is that one, it's the highest grossing movie of all time, and two, that the visual effects still hold up to this day. Now one thing Avatar 2 is known is that it hasn't been getting the biggest box office weekend. With a low, low earning of $17 million compared to the $77 million the first movie had. Oh, let me just... Finally. Time for the grand finale. Now, normally I go over my, my I go over my cons. I go over my cons, then I go to my pros, but this time let's switch it around a bit. Deathstroke. Green arrow. So let's go. What I do like about the movie, the visual effects. It is an Avatar movie, so the visual effects are always going to be good. And the best part is I saw them in 3D, and they were even more amazing. Begin. Now, another thing that I like about this movie is that none of the characters feel useless. I, and by none of the character, and by characters, I mean Jake, I mean Jake's children. Like they're not there. Like oh, you're you're the, you're my son. You're my daughter. And uh, they're not. They just don't. They just, and they don't just sit back and go. Oh no, that's in danger. They actually contribute to the plot. And I and I actually like that. Another thing I like about this movie is that we get is that we get to see more of the uh, more of the clan. We see another tribe, but they're not there for a minute. And I thought that scene was kind of tragic but also cool and that the water clan aren't just copy paste designs of the navi forest tribe they actually have they actually have details that they actually have definitive details like for example their tails are not the t same tails they are fins they are fins like what you see in in marine creatures and their hands are and their hands are also kind of also curve also also curve at the forearm so they also they kind of also look like fins. Also, the creature design in this is amazing. is is amazing. I especially like that big whale that that Jake's the Jake's young the Jake's uh, second second child slash youngest son uh, gets a bond with. I thought he had a cool design. And and I like Sigourney Weaver Weaver's return in this movie. That's all I'm gonna say. There's literally no surprise. It's been all over the news. And now for the cons of this movie. The cons of this movie. My first con with this movie is that in the climax we have this big fight: the Water Clan and Jake's family versus versus Stephen Lang. And what happens? Only only Jake's family and this kid named Spider that's been in the trailers uh, fight. Where's the rest of the Water Clan? Why are they contributing? Where are they? They they're, they're just gone. Like they're just gone right after the climax, and that annoys me. To and that annoys me even 30 minutes after I've seen the movie. Another thing I don't like about this movie is that I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep this as spoilers as possible. Is that is that this is a Jake's family adopted someone and they're and they're the offspring of a important character from the last movie. And she literally has a scene where I'm just gonna keep where she connects with AWOL. That's all I'm saying. And and they're like, oh no, uh, she has epilepsy. She uh, can't. Uh, uh, she can't. Uh, is it, oh yeah, she can't do that anymore. And literally that. And uh, is, that, is that why? Like, you had like one scene connecting with AWOL, and it, and it was amazing. And then we, you can't do it again. Your excuse is that she has epilepsy. Like, do you want to make use of this character or not? Anyways, those are, that's all I have. In the not serious scale, I give this an 8 out of 10. But in the serious scale, I give it like somewhere between 7 and 8 out of 10. The movie was good. looked good in 3D. And yeah, I hope you have a good time watching the movie as much as I did. Uh, see ya.